Bob Mountain News this morning. Leaders in one eastern Kentucky county with the highest unemployment state or rate in the state rather make an effort to try to bring in more jobs. And the London City Council approves a big budget for the upcoming fiscal year to hopefully boost the local economy. Dedicated to eastern and southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News this morning. And good morning to you on this Friday. Brandon Robinson along with you. It is Friday, June the 23rd. A one man banding it today. Got your news and weather. We'll get you caught up on all that here in just a minute. Let's start with some weather first, though. Some dense fog out there in spots. So continue to watch out for that. Anything less than five miles on this map, which includes Moorhead, uh, Jackson, uh, Prestonsburg, Pikeville, Hazard, Williamsburg and Jacksboro. Looks like maybe over toward Charleston too, a little bit over in West Virginia. Again, Williamsburg, I also noticed them just now again. So just be careful out there this morning. Pikeville over at the US 119, US 23 intersection. Not too bad over there, 62, nice temperature there. They've shifted the camera there just a little bit to give us a better view over toward Pikeville Commons and the shopping center over that way across the bridge. Take a look at the temperatures and only one spot in the 50s. 59 there in Clintwood. Everybody else is 60 or above this morning. Harlan the hot spot at 66. 24 hour temperature difference. Everybody is warmer with the exception of Middlesbrough, exactly where they were this time yesterday. First alert weather app forecast. Keep it handy because you're probably going to track a little bit of rain with it today at times. Some cloudy skies early. I think we see a few breaks in the clouds a little bit later on. Scattered chances for showers and storms will start to break up a little bit more in the afternoon and evening hours. So we'll keep you posted on that. Back to news this morning, McGoffin County, one of the 96 counties to see an increase in unemployment in the last month. It actually has the highest rate in the entire state. WIMT's Jack Demler talked with county officials about how they're trying to turn those numbers around. With mostly trade workers and service jobs, McGoffin County is used to leading the state in unemployment. Yeah, McGoffin County historically has been the highest rate of unemployment in the state for 20 years or longer. And this year is no different, with their unemployment rate at 8.9%. Judge Executive Matthew Weierman says a major way to address the issue of unemployment is by increasing tourism attractions that get people to stay. We got to bring people here. We got to bring their money here. And in order for us to grow, that new money has to be here. And we believe uh, that we get things for people to see and do and we start having more amenities in our community that, that that will bring industry and everything will follow right along. One example of what county officials are doing to increase tourism includes adding to their first frontier trail system. And I, as a saying, the field of dreams, build it now come, and, uh, and I, I truly believe that. Finding ways to build an economy. In McGoffin County, Jack Demler, WYMT Mountain News. Now, Judge Executive Weirman says county leaders are also working on completing the Gifford Industrial Park, which they hope will fill up with more job opportunities. Members of London City Council approved a $19 million budget for the upcoming fiscal year. The large increase in the budget comes from some grants they already received and grants they applied for and hope to receive. If those grants are not received, then the City Council can meet to amend that budget. While that big industries, they look at counties, but they, they really focus on cities. And we need to get, increase our population size, and we understand that, and council understands that. And that's what we're committed to do, is to continue to grow this city so it becomes more attractive to uh, businesses to want to come and do business right here in London. And Mayor Randall Weddle says the goal is to increase the city's population to improve the economy. Applications open Thursday for a new round of funding for Eastern Kentucky counties affected by last year's flooding. Along with an official from the USDA, Governor Andy Bashir announced millions of dollars will be made available to the hardest hit areas. The funding can be used for repairing damaged infrastructure as well as reducing long term risk from future weather events. And the guidelines are just if it uh, has to deal with infrastructure and it happened because of the flood, and then the governor's office has reached out and said, uh, submit your request in of what kind of damages you got, and they're going to try to help us. The more than 20 counties that received a major disaster declaration last year now have 60 days to submit those requests for funding. Meanwhile, Governor Bashir, Congressman Hal Rogers, and Senator Mitch McConnell announced more than $21 million in federal funding for the Panbow Lake Corridor Project in Breathitt County on Thursday. 
Officials say the federal grant will strengthen the dam, widen Highway 15, and ultimately relieve the fear of flooding. This area was flooded both in 2021 and 2022. Meanwhile, one Floyd County community is seeing some growth following last year's flooding. WINT's Jordan Mullins talked with the mayor of Wayland about some recent additions and future plans for the city. In July 2022, floodwaters impacted the Wayland community immensely, leading to the loss of businesses and residents in the community. But city officials say they have seen progress in the nearly 11 months since the floods. And I think maybe with time we've healed some. I don't know that there will ever be enough time to say we're over it, but we've made progress. Now the small town is alive with the sounds of progress, most notably bringing a new baseball field to the area. And while it is currently usable, more additions are still being made. I'd like to think by the end of the summer we'll have uh, some activity here. We've already had pick up games and kids in the community and some church groups have come in and done some things and uh, that's, that's, that's good to hear kids hollering and playing outside. As well as developing the site of a new pharmacy, bringing in jobs and more health care. Uh, I'm excited and uh, we're, we're bringing health care and hopefully he'll create, uh, I guess maybe a, a way of life that will lead to healthier people, that will live longer hoping to spur both economic and community development. I'm a firm believer that you cannot have economic development without community development. And I don't think the community can be developed to the, to the degree that it benefits everyone unless there's some economic development included in it. So they go hand in hand. While building a better future for the small town. In Floyd County, Jordan Mullins, WYMT Mountain News. Mayor Fultz says he also hopes in the years to come to get more housing and better flood mitigation as a focus for the town as well as the community or the county rather at large. Those at Riverside Christian School in Breathitt County are looking to move into a new building. The school was damaged in the floods back in 2021 and 2022. The new building will cost around $500,000. Principal Meg Asher says they have one in mind and says it will be better because it is out of the flood zone. She says they also plan to create new programs to better serve students and the community. There's a public school here that's consolidating down into Jackson. And so we are in the process of working on getting that building and hopefully moving down the road and just providing a safe space. Um, they didn't flood in 22, so um, it would provide just future options of we're not underwater, so being able to help our community if it flooded again. And Asher says they are hoping to have the building ready in time for the next school year. For more information on how to donate to the school, visit our website at WIMT.com. Just ahead this morning, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour continues to make impacts in local communities or local economies, rather, benefiting an industry that sorely needs a boost. And the weekend will bring the heat in more ways than one. I'll tell you about some of the warmest weather we've seen in a while in about three minutes.